Welcome back friends, this is Rohit Devangan presenting you a very interesting and the most elementary part of technical analysis which is understanding open, high, low, close, right? And then we'll, we'll see how to use what they mean, how to use them uh, to build your strategy or how to build your patterns and how to understand it uh, to take best advantage of your uh, uh, reading charts or uh, making good screeners, right? As usual, what we'll do is we'll uh, tell you basic concepts and then some trading strategies and then how to use them using TSR or Stock AIO custom screener. All right, so what is OHLC? OHLC where O stands for open, H stands for high, L stands for low and C stands for close. So what does it mean? When the market opens, whatever the time of exchange is, let's say it starts at the 9.15, it's, uh, so that becomes the opening price. Uh, whatever price the market closes, uh, uh, the, that is C, and during the course of trading, market can go beyond uh, the open or uh, close price. Uh, it can go to a certain limit and then it can also fall to a certain limit, right? We'll understand what that is in, in a, a diagram in a better way. So this is the price where market opens in this example. Market closes at this. That means the, the in, during the course of the day, uh, there was some, uh, some uh, upward movement in the market. And during the course of market, market can even go higher than the close price and retraces back and it makes a low, which is lower, which is the lowest point of the day. So th this is what is OHLC. When the close is above open, it is green candle, it is bullish. When the close is below open, it is red candle, which is, which, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, bearish, right? So think from a very simple perspective that if you have certain stock in your portfolio, if if uh, it's a green candle, that means your portfolio has increased or if it is red candle, your portfolio is uh, at a loss compared to previous day, right, MTM. Uh, okay, so these are the basic building blocks and all the technical analysis is built on these three, uh, these four parameters. Now, there are few very simple and very obvious fields which are derived out of these things, OHLC. Uh, one is high-low range where th th uh, the, the range is the highest point of the candle which is high and the lowest point of the candle high low range body range which is between the range between close and open uh, then there are few other things which are general mean to give you a better sense of uh, where it is right sometimes market uh, the, the candle swings a lot so some users may prefer to uh, have a more uh, uh, basically a smoothened price which is open by close or OHL. so there are three four different parameters and then uh, there's something called wick. Wick is the point which is uh, below the body to up to low is lower wick. Above the body up to high is called upper wick. Right? These are four very simple terms. If you if you want to know a little bit more about it, you can always go to our tutorial section. In tutorial section, there's a chart pattern. Uh, in chart pattern, you go to candlestick basics. That's where we have explained in a little more details about this. Okay. So uh, then next. And another thing is true range, right? We'll understand true range in subsequent uh, slide or we have also dealt with it in some of the other videos. So we may not uh, go too deep into it. Okay. So uh, what is typical things that you would see or you would like to see or you have seen or uh, you uh, you ob uh, typically observe is a pattern wherein, you know, the market opens at whatever point and it closes at the highest level, right? So that that is called Marubozu. Uh, so if market if open is equal to low and close is equal to high, then it's called marubozu. Just opposite of that is bearish marubozu. Inverted hammer. So if you see it is if you if you see an hammer, if you just invert it something like this, this is where it is. So market in this case op opens at this point. It goes up, up somewhere uh, to a high point and it closes at the lowest level, right? So where. Uh, low is equal to close. So it's it's a red candle. So whatever steam market started here, it goes all the way up there, which says that there's some bullish signal and then it, all the steam is lost and which ultimately ends up in a bearish one. Over here, it starts here and it closes all the way to up uh, to the uh, to the highest level, right? That means it's a very, very uh, bullish sign. So just looking at one single candle, you can get in psychology of the market that where the market is in this case market or the total participation of market led to uh, price only towards the higher direction right similarly you uh, a variation of marubozu wherein uh, it didn't closes at the end but it closes near the or or, or 
it opened here and there's a long white candle or long green candle in this case uh, wherein the gap between open and close is pretty high that means there was some good movement during the course of the day right also tells a lot of things another example is spinning top uh, wherein market open and close is pretty close yet there is a long upper wick and long lower wick which tells that market was pretty indecisive so just looking at the candle if you see this is a bullish this is a, a, a bearish this again bullish this is indecisive this is another example which is where the market starts it ends at the same point doji right this is another example of doji here e here open is almost equal to uh, close but it went too deep into the uh, too deep level uh, uh, to very low level and then it came back so in, in during the market time uh, the bears uh, were in control but bull somehow pulled it back and over here now if you see here ultimately towards later part of the day bulls were in control so the, even though open and close are same price i think bulls have a slightly better edge in this example in this second example uh, neither bull nor bear have any edge right so it's clearly indecisive which you cannot see that just looking at the ohlc or the candle you'll not know whether it is bullish or bearish right very similar to spinning top but this is in the variation of it then you have an a gravestone doji and there's a lim unlimited number of candlestick patterns about 70 80 patterns we have in our system so this is where you will see uh, the basic idea of candlestick pattern and then you'll see all the bullish patterns bearish patterns or one day patterns all these patterns are are uh, described here with their level of reliability for example if you want to see the uh, uh, bullish pattern right so what is bullish what is the is, uh, uh, frequency of its occurrence uh, what kind is it is it reversal continuation or how what is the reliability so all these basic idea you will get there right so uh, uh, when you when you go and do little more practice if you are already familiar with it great if you are not then you can use this as a uh, quick uh, guide for uh, you to uh, you know get, uh, get familiar with it okay so these are certain basic candlestick type each candlestick type will tell you or each ohlc will tell you a lot about the system right now uh, and we don't want to go too deep into candlestick because the session is on ohlc we'll see how to use this ohlc right type of ohlc number one is regular price based uh, which is uh, just ohlc and there's another variation of it it's called haikenashi uh, which also has open high low close so let's take a simple example out here to see what that is so when when you open any chart uh, we go to technical charts and we take a stock whatever it is gujarat gas right so this is typically ohlc which is printed here uh, red and green red being uh, bearish green being, being bullish right there is a variation of it is called hikenashi looks very similar to it which also looks like a candle but its open high low close is different whoever is familiar with uh, hikenashi they, they can understand it but for this uh, session sake we'll just consider them as a another kind of candle okay why ohlc it is the smallest building block on top of which entire technical analysis is built number 1 number 2 it's very simple as we have seen all that you need to see is that candle is red green big candle small candle boring candle doji candle marubozu long white candle it's very easy to see and the moment you see you'll get an idea that which way the sense of the market is on that particular point of time right it is very flexible it's being the most basic part you can use it to create lots of complex and big strategies patterns and unlike technical indicators it has no lag that means it is happening right at the time right so you like if you take a 50 day moving average it also considers a price of 50 days back which could which may may not have any impact today because there's a different news or different circumstances which is happening today uh, so not to worry when you use ohlc there's absolutely no lag right so we jump into ohlc screener so like what we do is uh, we tell you basic concepts and then we'll jump into our favorite uh, strategy builder or custom screener uh, on left hand side we'll go to custom screener uh, in custom screener the default tag uh, or tab is price action over here you have ohlc compare now first example what we see is above so ohlc if you want to say if you want to see that close is greater than open that means we are trying to get a green candle so when you run this you will get an idea that all these candles will be green candles out here uh, the last candle that we are looking as green 
you go to another one you get another green candle green candle you have another option out here where you can see that close should be at least 1% or 2% greater than open that means a big green candle if you are looking at so what you can do is you can do a slight variation and you'll see only big green candles out here big green candles only big green candles is what you are seeing out here okay uh, then second is below just opposite of that if you just change this thing uh, if you just change above to below you'll see that big red candles you'll see big red candles right? big red candles you'll see right so uh, first is understanding what that candle is second is able able to create those candles uh, to uh, to take best advantage of uh, the tool or giving yourself an edge on the uh, trading so we have seen above below greater or equal to uh, so if you want to see that if uh, the close is uh, is uh, greater than or equal to or maybe we'll just use uh, equals where the close is equals to uh, or open is equal to low okay so what it tells is the point where the market has opened was the lowest point and throughout the course of the day market has gone up so when we look at such candle we'll see that there's no lower wick out here right wherever market started it just moved upwards right it never came below that point right canara bank another example it just went up it never came below that so that's again a a very important strategy where open is equal to low you can utilize that right less than or equal to equals we have seen that between you can compare anything between uh, two other price that is uh, uh, if you want to compare with previous candle which we'll see in a short while where you can use between in a different way within if you want to see that your open is within 0.1% uh, of previous days open right so what you or basically what you can see is uh, within uh, this another example uh, we can use within uh, where open is within uh, within 0.1% of close that means we are trying to get a boring or a doji candle so when you when you go here you'll see all the candles where the body is very small right body is very small uh, small body candle you, you can you can create that or doji or boring candle you can very easily create here in for for doji uh, what you need to do is open equal to open equal to close then you'll get doji candles out here so there's one doji candle which is made where open is equal to close right so if you want to have boring candle just increase it uh, to say within and then you put a point one or two percent then you'll get a small body right so that's how you can build systems off more than if you want to see that you know a close is off more than open so again you can use above or below for that purpose ratio that's another very important point now let's say you want a, a big green candle compared to its price that means your candle size should be at least two percent compared to its uh, the actual price so what you can do is you can change again starting with clean slate for simplicity purpose uh, over here you can choose ratio above over here uh, body range and you can choose latest candle close that means your body is at least 2% of your close price that means the moment on that particular day is pretty good so when you look at those stocks you'll see that the body is pretty pretty big bodies uh, what you'll be getting vis-a-vis -vis its close price in the previous case we were just looking in isolation that open and close it had not much relation compared to the body he, uh, with the with the with the actual price here you can compare with the actual price also okay uh, then ratio below is very similar to that let's say you want a very small body candle so just change it to ratio below uh, maybe we put a 0.2 percent so the moment of the stock is very small vis-a-vis -vis the stock price right so when you look at this you'll see very small stock price uh, small a small body compared to the stock price so over here it is a very small range compared to thousand which is the actual value of the price of the stock right over here so this is how you can have a lot of variations to create your own strategy then what we have is historical compare what you can do is you can compare things with historical values uh, so first one is compare with another field of same date which we have done it but for uh, again for as a revision what we'll do is the latest use the latest 
uh, close is above latest open that means you are getting a green candle uh, you can put a percentage here let's put a percentage here to get a slightly bigger green candle right so when you go here you see a big green candle coming out here right big green candle so that's how you can compare with its own value then uh, you can compare with another date for example in this case we compared close with its uh, open you can change it to previous day and you can compare with close and then you can run so in this case what you get is the close is higher than the previous high similarly what you can do is you can add another one uh, where in p minus 1 close is greater than p minus 2 close right that means it is closing for closing up for at least two days or maybe we add one more uh, where we go to p minus 2 is greater than p minus 3 close and run so over here what you see is the stock price is closing con continuously closing above its previous day for at least three days one one two three one two three right you can set the percentage also if you want that uh, the, the percentage should be at least 0.2 percent that means some growth is there or 0.5 percent let's try maybe we are lucky maybe we are not let's see okay so there are three stocks which are closing up and the movement is pretty 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 good at least 0.5 percent here 0.5 percent point five. so that itself becomes a very good pattern if you see it's it was consecutive red candles and then the pattern is broken and that is going up uh, volume participation is also pretty decent so likely to go above right uh, not nice market participation over here if you see there's an rbr rally based rally is also here right so you you can also start looking at lot of things like this is again a rally based rally rally then certain boring candles then again a rally right again looking at this three red can uh, three uh, big green candles so you can create your own patterns right compare with the previous day compare with another type uh, this we have seen uh, but let's again compare with for sake of uh, this completion of this uh, video what you can do is latest close is greater than previous high so you are comparing across history across different dates and across different fields by at least two percent uh, a little ambitious maybe uh, we'll get some stock or maybe not uh, let's look at that there are quite a few stocks where the close is greater than previous high so if you see out here using candlestick patterns the close is greater than the previous high again over here if you, so another very interesting things out is here is you have a rally then boring candles rally and then it's giving a very very good uh, this thing uh, uh, movement out here right so you, you can once you your eye gets set with this ohlc right you'll start spotting a lot of interesting patterns out here right which which will definitely help you with a lot of uh, this thing uh, uh, this is sort of a tweezer uh, pattern it's coming down then reverse going up nice bullish pattern right then we'll start finding a lot of interesting patterns out here so again uh, uh, what, what we are comparing is close is greater than previous high so you can start building your patterns once you get uh, understanding again for the sake of uh, this thing if you are skipping videos uh, over here we have tutorials where all the patterns are mentioned out here so you can practice a lot using this OHLC tool right then compare with another date we have seen then OHLC screener right uh, you can create simple strategies single day pattern we have seen bullish pattern where close is greater than open right you can create doji where open is equal to close you can create open is equal to low we have seen that right uh, open is equal to high we have seen that let's say you want to create marubozu pattern so what you can do is you can do as you can start with ohlc close is equal to close is equal to high latest high add another one then open is equal to low latest right so what we are doing is we are we are uh, working on where close is equal to high highest point and open is the lowest point so which is also marabozu pattern uh, okay no stock today uh, are we correct okay sorry my fault okay equals okay no stock maybe some other period i go to one hour okay we find three stocks coaching shipyard so you see that this is perfect stock where 
bucket only moved in one direction. Uh, of course, not completely moved. If you just look in isolation, it moves only in one direction. If you look on a daily tick, uh, to get uh, to a smaller tick, maybe this will be a better idea. You see that there was zigzag, little zigzag, but market moved. Uh, if you uh, go back into one minute chart or one hour chart with which we were looking, uh, open is equal to low, close is equal to high. So this is very easy way of building patterns. Long white candle, if you want to go, just uh, which we have seen, uh, white candle is basically green candle. So where uh, the, the gap between uh, close is at least one or 2% or 3% greater than open, which we have done that exercise. Long range candle, if you want a candle which is of a long range, what you can do is, which also tells the volatility, resetting it, going with clean slate. Uh, what we can do is, uh, instead of this, high low range is above ratio, above let's say, uh, compared to latest, close by at least 3% or maybe let's try 4% if we are lucky we'll get something. Okay, so over here, if you see, uh, uh, there's a long range candle out here, right? Compared to this thing, there's a long range candle which is being formed. Uh, we go to a higher period, maybe on a daily period, you'll find some more stocks maybe, right? So it's quite a few stocks where the range is at least 4% of the, this thing, right? So this is where a lot of money can be made in the intraday trade, right? Look at, so what we are looking is at the daily pattern. If you break into five minutes, maybe you'll see quite a lot of opportunities which were there, right? Over here, it started off really well. It gave you opportunities, right? Or uh, maybe next one. This was again, not a great one. This one, again, it gave you a lot of opportunities to get to a better level, right? So a lot of swing is there. A lot of swing is there. Over here, it's long, strong, bullish. Then sort of a twizzer pattern is there. Then it came down. So you'll see a lot of movement. So when, when you see a huge uh, uh, price range, then a huge price range, then you'll see a lot of opportunity to trade within that uh, range, within that period here. In on what we are looking is daily range. So you'll get a lot of opportunities out here. Then next is two candle pattern. So we'll take a simple example out here. Now, I assume that you have a pretty good understanding of the candle, how to use OHLC for making green candle, red candle, big candle, small candle. Here's another example that we are looking at. Very, very common and very important uh, uh, tool for uh, traders. It's cap up. Uh, so what we are looking is we go, we go to OHLC where close, let, let's be let, uh, look, look at something where the complete candle is above the previous candle. So we look at latest low is above previous high. Let's try to run if we see any candles getting there. So what we see is latest low is greater than previous high. So you can visibly see a big gap out here, right? Big gap out here. Here you see a small gap. If you want to increase the gap or you want to fine tune that gap, you can set it by a percentage so that the gap is very easily visible for you, visible to you. When you look at this, there's a big gap, small gap. So the idea is first you can create a gap. Then you can also go once you have better understanding of it, you can also go and fine tune it to an extent where you see a visibly strong gap. Engulfing a very important pattern. Uh, let's try to build one. So what is engulfing? So let's see what engulfing. It's a strong bullish two day pattern. Uh, where is our friend engulfing? It is in candle bullish, candle bullish. This is engulfing pattern. Uh, so I'll just zoom it for your benefit, right? Where in the body of subsequent candle, second candle starts below the body of first candle and ends above the second candle high. So. Uh, we go back to our custom screener, uh, resetting, clean slate, OHLC, latest close is above previous open and I add another one, latest close is greater than previous close. So what we are doing is we are incremental building. So in this case, the close is above previous day body, right? So that's first condition that we have added. When we see out here, you'll see that the close is above previous day body, complete body, right? So which is a good condition, but this is not complete engulfing. Uh, the idea is to incrementally build and test so that we'll get a very clear, clear idea, right? Then next condition is the second candle or, or the low uh, or, or, or the open of this candle, 
open of this candle should be less than previous day open so third condition we have built we'll test it again we'll test it again so the open is the open is below okay so we messed up which is a good thing uh, below right so that's how you can incrementally do things now we run it so the open is below the previous day uh, uh, sorry uh, the open is below previous day open right when we see open is below previous day open the fourth condition which we need to add here is we add here which is open latest day open is below previous day so we have compared open so we have to do close when we do this you will see that a nice engulfing pattern is sorry we messed up again should be below a run okay so we see engulfing patterns some of them will be very good some of them will not be that good right so how do we get better this is very nice how do we get better so you have uh, so that exercise will be for you wherein you can further see that you know i want a big green candle only latest so latest close is above latest open by at least 2% so we see lesser number of stocks so you see nice big green candles now if you want this open to be even lower than this by 2% or by by let's say 0.5% so what you can do is uh, you can add latest day open is below at least 0.5% i'm not sure we'll, uh, we'll let's make it 0.2% and let's make this also 0.2% so that the opening is visibly below the previous body right so when we see here you see that opening is visibly below the previous body opening is visibly below the previous body that's how you can fine tune and create an excellent pattern now all these candlestick patterns which we have covered out here is is also out here right uh, is also out here you can use any of these patterns candlestick patterns uh, but uh, some of our users feel that you know they want to have better control hence uh, they would pr uh, generally prefer to uh, do it uh, yourself for diy tool which is our custom screener right then engulfing we have seen price gainer with volume and the interesting things we are resetting it so basically uh, the the point which we want to highlight here is uh, it is gaining and then along with ohlc along with this you can add other filters as well so what we are doing is price greater than previous one and the volume is also greater at least double of previous one so when we run this you'll see that there's a green candle uh, sorry there's a there's a higher price with high volume higher price with higher volume compared to previous day so that's how you can mix and match ohlc with all the other indicators whether it's technical or fundamental you can uh, match along with that right uh, a generally very common one is volume high lows uh, which is near one year high or uh, one year low six months high six months low you can easily add there right uh, getting to know more about this you can always go below and this is where the entire uh, uh, usage of custom screener is out here sometimes it looks little complex to a lot of users especially the beginners but we have a uh, we have a video both in english and hindi we have created out here which you can use it for your understanding of this so next what we have is kicker pattern i'll not go and uh, create kicker pattern but i'll just explain what that kicker pattern is so when you look at kicker so this is kicker pattern there are a lot of these patterns are here for, first of all it tells what kind of pattern it is so in this case it's a reversal pattern its reliability is high how many candles are required two candles right so this is how you can really build your uh, uh, candles to uh, your level of satisfaction or your level of uh, uh, basically uh, uh, in in a way where you can really make good profitable trades your, uh, make your strategies in that way right so brief understanding of those things is also out here then next what we have is multiple candle trending candle we have seen close is greater than previous close right so another thing that you can uh, that i want to highlight out here is you can go back in the history to compare latest with previous or previous with another previous so on and so forth also what you can do is you can compare across ticks so latest you can compare with one minute tick or uh, sorry with one hour tick or one day tick or one month tick one week tick you can compare across various different levels right sometimes you would want to do that uh, to compare with the previous day if the latest is higher than the previous day range so of course we have all the important strategies built in like open range is there trending candle is there but if you want to customize it further you can use it use them 
trending candle, three white soldier. I won't go deep into it. Uh, I assume that by this time you are proficient in using OHLC and you can create uh, patterns better than what I can in the so small session. Master candle, we have had a different uh, videos, uh, I think last week where we released, so I don't want to go too deep into it. Narrow range, again, a very interesting pattern where the latest candle is low, is the size is lowest compared to last four candles. So what you can do is uh, you can use HLC. We have seen derivatives. We have seen HL range is below previous HLC, HL range. And similarly, you can say that latest is smaller than previous minus two, latest is minus previous minus three. So that your latest candle is the narrowest candle in last n candles where generally NR4, NR7 are more popular, but doesn't stop you to use a other range like five, six, seven, right? They also give pretty good results. Okay. Uh, if you want to directly use them, like what you can do in chart patterns, you can also go here. Master candle is built here and our range is here, wide range is there and many more patterns are uh, already built in for you. Like gap up is here uh, and few other things that we have seen. Then next is wide range, Sim just similar to a uh, narrow range in terms of concept, but just opposite in terms of implementation, right? So there are a lot of things which you can build. Oh, HLC screener pros. We have seen it's very simple, easy to understand, flexible. It's the building block of all technical analysis. It has to be flexible for uh, it to be used across building big strategies or big indicator strategies. There's no lag, unlike, uh, uh, so in case of technical indicators, there's always a lag, which we have seen. Uh, for example, if you are using MACD, there's at least 26 uh, days back. If you are using a moving average, 50 day moving average, then the price of 50 days back is also influencing. There's no lag out here. Then uh, what I'm telling is cons is just opposite of what I'm mentioning out here. Cons, it's difficult for beginners. So sometimes I've mentioned here, it is simple. If you go step by step, it is simple. Like in this case, uh, let's say you are building, adding multiple things. Your results are not coming. Maybe one of the things you just pause it and then see the results incrementally build. If you do that, it's easy. But if you suddenly see a lot of such things out here, you feel that it's a lot complex. So that's why it's mentioned that it's slightly difficult uh, at times. So that's all I wanted to cover about uh, OHLC. I hope you liked it. If you like it, do mention to us uh, in the comments. Uh, and uh, if uh, your like, share, subscribe definitely gives us uh, indication that our hard work not only my entire team's hard work in building the screeners, in building this presentation, uh, uh, you know, it gives us a lot of motivation. Uh, it should give us a lot of confidence to build more things. If you like it, definitely like, share, subscribe. If you need further help in building this thing, you can always call on this number for India. Uh, or you, the, you can also call, uh, you can also request for a demo. We'll have one-on-one -on -one demo with you. Uh, I will help you to create these strategies. Or if you have something else other than OHLC you want to share with us, you can write using contact us form. If you're new to the product, there's a, there's a complete video uh, of uh, the product out here in English and Hindi. Uh, as I mentioned, custom screener video is also here. You can uh, use this for building your strategy, build your strategy, save your strategy, set alerts so that you know you get, uh, you get uh, to know as soon as it happens build strong strategy. You can also go ahead and do back testing out here. Uh, you can go and do back testing like what uh, you can use across ticks out here uh, to build a powerful strategy using daily, weekly, one hour, 15 minute chart. You can build a lot of powerful strategy, which a lot of our users do. So we hope that you'll take best, uh, you'll, uh, you know, uh, uh, get best out of the tool and uh, hope that session was good. Uh, so we'll, we'll again come back with a very interesting topic. Till then guys, uh, see you and uh, hope to see you very soon with an interesting topic. Thank you.